Hi, my year five students. Welcome back to Ms. Shiva, your math teacher. Okay, today we're going to talk about identifying right triangles. So we're going to talk about some of the rules that we need to remember when solving uh, a triangle with the right angle. So the first part is in triangle ABC, the angle measures of two angles are 61 and 92. So I'm going to show it in the picture that what we have. If you have the textbook, uh, the prime textbook, I'm following this textbook. So you can just simply open page 101. So I'm doing the exact questions for you. But if you don't have the book, don't worry about it. I'm writing everything for you here so you have a very easy time following with me. So the angle A is 61, okay? The angle B I have is 29 degrees. This one's 61 degrees. And angle C we don't know. So the rule that we're going to learn here is that if angle A plus angle B gives me 90 degrees, that will show me, that will confirm that angle C is going to be 90 degrees. That's just one of the rules that we have, we're learning right now. You, you want to know why? I'm going to do a double check with you and you will see why. So let's first try it. Angle A is 61 degrees. We say 61 plus 29 degrees equals to 90 degrees. So because we got 90 degrees on that, those two angles, then that means angle C is 90 degrees. So I can be sure that this is 90 degrees. You're not sure, you wanna know why? We're gonna check our work. To check our work, we say the two angles are 90 and the total angles in a triangle is 180. So we say 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. Yes, it gives me 90. So it is correct, it is correct. So that's one of the rules we need to remember. Triangle ABC is a right triangle. What do we call a right triangle? We call a triangle a right triangle when one of the angles are right. Which one of the angles are right? Angle C. Okay? Now we're going to do one practice. Practice number two at page 101. These triangles are not drawn to scale. That, that means um, you cannot use a protractor to scale it and measure the angles. These triangles, these questions are only for looking at the numbers and calculation and knowing the rules and applying the rules. No need to use a protractor and you cannot. That's why it says not drawn to scale. Number question number one, find the unknown angle measures. We have the triangle ABC. And angle C, uh, it does not have any name in the book, but I just gave it a name because it's easier to uh, talk about it. So I'm gonna call angle C, and we have 39 degrees. This is angle A. Angle B, it has a sign. That means angle B is 90 degrees. It shows me with the sign that the, the symbol is 90 degrees, okay? So it's asking what is the angle A? So I know angle C is 39 degrees. I know angle B is 90 degrees. What do I have to do? Very simple. I go 90 degrees plus 39 degrees, 90 degrees plus 39 degrees gives me 129 degrees. And what is the total uh, angle, what is the total of adding all the angles in a triangle? It's 180. So we say 180 
180 minus 129. We get 51 degrees. So angle A equals to 51 degrees. Simple? Okay, we're going to go to move on number B. In this triangle, one of the angles are 71 degrees. Angle B is missing. The other angle has a symbol of 90. So the what a question was like this. So because of the symbol here, I understand that means it's 90 degrees. Okay? So we say 71, we do the same thing, 71 plus 90 degrees, and then the total of things has to be minus 180. I'm going to write it in a one sentence for you, so maybe uh, it will make sense for people that it's not making any sense. So 71 plus 90, 71 degrees plus 90 degrees, we get 161 degrees. And then we do 180 degrees minus 161 degrees. What do we get? 19 degrees. Please do the questions as I'm doing it with you. So when we do it together, we have an easier time to understand and we learn better. So angle B, therefore, is 19 degrees. Okay? Next question is on the next page, page 120, 102. Which of the triangle it is a right triangle? We have two triangles you see in the picture, triangle A, triangle B. You cannot use a protractor to see which one has a right angle. No, we just have to use our uh, understanding. So the angles that's given to us, one of them is 48 degrees, one of them is 44 degrees and the other ang triangle this one is 40 degrees yeah the other one is 50 okay so now we're going to use the rule that we just learned in the beginning of the lesson so we say 48 degrees plus 44. So what is 48 plus 44 is 92. It's not 90, it's 92. So the rule only applies if the two angles equals to 90. So I know for sure the other angle, this angle here, is not going to be 90. It's going to be something different. It's not going to be 90. Now I'm going to check here. 40 degrees plus 50. 40 plus 50, 90 degrees. Okay, so I know for sure the other angle is 90. You want to check? Okay, we'll check. We say 180 just to check. Minus 90. Yes, 180 minus 90 gives you 90. So we just use the rule we just learned in the beginning of the lesson. That's a very important rule. You can also do 180 minus 90. Yes, it's correct. But knowing the rules in math makes our life much easier and professional. So you don't have to do a lot of calculation. We just know the rules. Okay, two angles equals to 90. The third angle must be 90. Then we say, which of the triangle is the right triangle? We say triangle B. That's it. Okay. Moving on to question number three. Find the unknown angle measured. Then identify right triangle. So we have the triangle S. We have triangle Y. In the question, here we have 57 degrees. This one is X. This one is 28 degrees. 
These are given in the question. 47. This is it Y. And this is 43 degrees. Okay. So we're going to use the same uh, rules and we're going to use the same strategy. You say angle 28 degrees plus 57 degrees. So 28 degrees plus 57 equals to 85 degrees. So from the beginning, I know angle X is not going to be 90, but we're just going to find it out. We say 180 minus 85 degrees. What would it be? So you do the calculation as well. 85. So you tell me. Yes, 95 degrees. See, the angle X wasn't going to be 90. It came out to 95 degrees. So angle X is going to be 95 degrees. Okay, then this one doesn't have any right angle. This triangle does not have any right angle. That means this is a not. Triangle X is not a right triangle, okay? So now we're going to do angle, uh, triangle Y, 47 degrees plus 43 degrees, 47 plus 43 equals to 90 degrees. Oh, that makes me so happy when I get the result adding of two angles and gives me 90 because right over I know angle Y is 90 degrees now. So angle Y, I know, therefore, angle Y is also 90 degrees, okay? You want to check your work. I don't want to do it because I like to encourage you to use the rules and remembering the rules. But if you want to just check your work because you've been nervous about it, do 180 minus 90, you get 90. Then it says, identify the right triangle. Triangle Y is a right triangle because it has one right. So I'm going to change the sign one right angle because angle Y is 90 degrees. Now I'm going to introduce you to two names that we use when we're working with triangle interior and exterior angles of a triangle. Okay, this is a new lesson but related to what we're talking. So we you see a triangle ABC, and from C, the line is a straight to the right, and you see a CD line, correct? And in the C, you see an angle outside the triangle. So because it's outside, so we say angle C is an exterior angle of a triangle ABC is an exterior angle of triangle. What's the name of the triangle? ABC. It doesn't change, right? The triangle is called ABC. The D is not part of the triangle. The D is the line outside the triangle. And angle A and angle B are because angle A and angle B is are inside the triangle, so we call it interior. Interior opposite angle of angle C, okay? Interior, exterior. Exterior is outside, interior inside the triangle, okay? So the measure of the exterior angles, which are angle C of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of interior opposite angles. That means if I add angle A, plus angle B, it's equal to angle C. Interesting, right? That's a new rule. 
that we need to remember because this is the measure of the exterior angle. My exterior angle is angle C of the triangle is equal to, so exterior angle, I'm gonna follow just the way I'm reading, it equals to the sum of the measure of interior opposite angle. Interior opposite angles minus angle A plus angle B. That's what it means. Finding unknown angle measures involving exterior angle and in, in, uh, of a triangles. Learning. This is the example I'm giving it to you. Number eight. In triangle PQR, P, Q, R, line segment PR, P, R, is extended to S. That's true. PR, you see, and it's extended to another line that it's called S. Correct? Okay. We have a good understanding of the question. Angle RQP, RQP, which is talking about this angle, right? RQP, this angle is 65. I'm going to write it down. And RPQ, RPQ, R. P, Q, so it's talking about this angle, is 34. Find the measure of angle S, R, Q. This angle is missing. I'm going to call it small r. Uh, because this is r, I'm going to call it small r, capital R, small r. Angle S, R, Q is... And so these are the, what I understand from the question is an exterior angle, right? Because angle SRQ is outside of a triangle, so I call it exterior angle. Angle P, angle RQP and RPQ are interior interior opposite angles of angle s r q correct we're just understanding what's going on the situation of the triangle which one is interior, which one is exterior, and understanding the position of the triangle in the shape that we have, okay? So that's what we understand from that. And we say, if we do 65, so if, if I wanna find the angle R, as we understood the rule on the top, Angle R equals to angle Q plus angle P. From the rule I, I learned from the top, right? It says the measure of exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the interior opposite angle. So that's what I want to do. 65 degrees plus 34 degrees, which gives me 99 degrees. So my angle R equals to 99 degrees. Or if I want to use the name that is asking measure, define, measure the angle, you can also call it S, R, Q, 99 degrees if you want to use the the name because we also learn about different names if you have question about calling the angles different names you can also refer to my other videos that i made for year four uh, this is year five so i made for year four this is what something we learn in year four and that's very important so make sure you go to my channel and review all the videos that i posted 
I would suggest subscribe and hit the bell so whenever I post a video you can see it right away and you can just do a quick review that would be so helpful for you okay so the last part I'm going to do is part B in triangle TUV line segment UT is extended to W you see that angle UVT is 45 UVT yeah it's 45 an angle VTW VTW is 122 yes it's shown in the in the triangle but it's outside the triangle 122 find the measure of TUV TUV which is this one correct so what do I know angle VTW is an exterior angle angle TUV and UVT are interior opposite angles of VTW. If it's a bit confusing for you because lots of names of the angles so pause the video. I'm trying not to go too fast. But if you think this is too fast for you, just pause the video. Think about it a little bit more. Or go back and forth, back and forth until you understand what I'm talking about. If it's a bit overwhelming for you. So now we're going to find the angle TUV equals to 122 minus because it's going backward, right? 45, then it's equal to 77. Okay. Hope you find it helpful. Hope it's not, I'm going, not going too fast. If it's too fast, just pause the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow my videos so you can learn easier and better at this online school. Thank you for watching me. Please make a comment if you have any question. See you soon. Bye.